Hey, how's it going, guys? This is KNASTY3890 here with another MLB 16 The Show video. Today, we're going to be doing roster predictions for June 3rd. The month of June is upon us, and there will be roster updates this Friday. Normally, I'll go over all the roster updates, but I'm going to do predictions this week. And I want, I'm going to be doing uh, one for every single team. And I want to know what you guys have to say about the predictions I have. Obviously, I'm going to go over every single team. So I'm going to go over your favorite team. If you think I got it right, if you think I got it wrong, let me know down in the comments down below. If I miss someone from your favorite team, who do you think I should have put in instead of someone else? I'm just doing one per team. And I want to go know if I if you have any other suggestions for me. Let's start off with the Baltimore Orioles. First off, we're going to go to Matt Wieters. I think he's going to get a plus two. He's hitting 282 this year. I can see his contact definitely going up into the mid 60s. I would put him right around an 82 overall. Next, we're going to go to the Boston Red Sox. Mookie Betts just hit three home runs last night. Doesn't matter. I'm going with. I don't think it's going to matter this week. I think it may matter in the future. But I'm going with Bogarts. He's leading the league in hitting, hitting about 350 this year. I can see his contact first right going up, putting him up to about an 88 overall. Next, we're going to go to the New York Yankees. We're going to go to Nathan Evaldi. I'm seeing him going up two to a silver. I think he'll get an increase in K per nine and an increase in hits per nine. Those are both really low, and he's actually having a very good year this year for the New York Yankees. Moving on to the Tampa Bay Rays. We're going to have a negative this uh, for this team. We're going to have Matt Moore. He's going to go down minus two. He's going to become a calm, and I see a decrease in case per nine and hits per nine. He's been really struggling this year, and I see those two attributes going down that put him down to a 76. Moving on to the uh, to the uh, Toronto Blue Jays, excuse me. We're going to go up to Michael Saunders. He's going to get a plus three this week. I see him hitting a big increase in average and discipline. He's hitting over 300s, having great on-base percentage. I see both of those going up. Him going up to an 80 overall, I'll put him at a silver. Next, we're going to the Chicago White Sox. We're going to the Todd Father, Todd Frazier. I see him going up one to a gold. He'll get an increase. I mean, excuse me, plus two. He'll go up to an 86. I see a big increase in power. He leads the league or top of the league, league with 15 home runs. He definitely needs to get up, especially power versus right. Moving on to the Cleveland Indians. We're going to go to Francisco Lindor. I see him getting a plus one, an increase in both contact and and steal and and stealing excuse me he does have 10 stolen bases his stealing should be higher i see him getting an upgrade of plus one to an 86 moving to the detroit tigers jose iglesias a minus three really struggling hitting about 210 220 this year you can't keep those contact attributes when you're hitting that low i see those taking a big hit going down to an 80 overall moving on to the kansas city royals i'm gonna have eric hosmer going up one to an 87. I see him getting an increase in both power and vision. He's having a really good year again this year. So I think that they need to uh, give him an extra little bit of love in power. Seeing that go up a little bit. Moving on to the Minnesota Twins. Not much is going right for them. And not much will go right for them in the roster up this week. I see Dozier going down 1 to an 83. I see a decrease in power. He only has 5 home runs this year. I think that power versus left and right should go down a little bit. Bring him down to an 83 overall. Moving on to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, excuse me. We're going to Nick Tropiano. I see him getting a plus two. He'll become a silver. Having an increase in both hits per nine and walks per nine. Having a sneaky good year for the Angels right now. Moving on to the Oakland Athletics. Rich Hill coming out of nowhere at the end of last year. Continuing this year. Has an ERA in the low twos. I see him getting an increase in plus two, especially in Stanima. He's been having a lot of really good starts this year and hits per nine. Put him at an 82 overall. Moving on to the Seattle Mariners. We're going to get Robinson Cano. We'll get a plus one. Stay a gold, not a diamond. He also has 15 home runs, same as the Todd father. I see him getting a little boost, maybe like an 85 versus right and like a 60 versus left. That would put him at a 92. Moving on to the Texas Rangers, and it has to be Nomar. Nomar Manaza is having a great start of the year. Has seven home runs and limited at bats. He already does have 76 power. I want that to go up a little bit. Power versus left, go up a little bit. I want him to go up four overall, put him at a silver, put him at 78 overall. Moving on to the Houston Astros, George Springer has been killing the ball recently. He has, now has 12 home runs this year. Give him a boost in power. Make him an 87 overall due to that boost in power. Moving on to the Atlanta Braves. Again, they're not having a great year, but one guy who's been playing really well for them is Julio Tehran. I see him going up two. His ERA is in the low twos. I see him getting an increase in both Walks per nine and hits per nine. As you can see, those are both pretty low. He doesn't. He's not a big strikeout guy. I can see that staying low as well. Moving on to the Marlins, a big one. 
Jose, I mean, uh, Giancarlo Stanton will go down one to a 92. I think he'll take a hit in contact. He is struggling this year. He's only hitting the low 200s versus, I mean, under 200 versus right. I see that going down into the 50s. Put him at a gold. And a little tip for you guys. Right now, he is going for right about 62,000. Goes to a gold. He'll go down in value. Jose Fernandez will go up in value because the reward for this uh, collection is the 93 Handy, Handy Ramirez. Jose Fernandez will go up in value if Giancarlo becomes a goal. Just a little tip for you guys. Moving on to the Washington Nationals. Steven Strasburg will become a diamond in my opinion. He'll get that plus one. Increase in both Ks per nine and hits per nine. Becoming 93 overall. Now to the New York Metropolitans or the Mets. Steven Mets plus three overall. Put him at an 84 just short of a gold. He's been amazing this year. He's been amazing since the end of last year. Get a big upgrade in case per nine and home runs per nine. His ERA is in around 2 3 2 4 at this time. Moving on to the Philadelphia Phillies. Jeremy Hellickson, I get a plus two, become an 81. He'll have an increase in both case per nine and hits per nine. Been really solid for them this year, surprisingly. So I'm going to say give him a plus two. Be right at an 81 overall. Moving on to the Cubs. Jake Arrieta, I'm going to put him at a 97. Just been dominant again this year. The second best pitcher in the league behind Kershaw. I don't think it's any debate. Kershaw's the best. Arietta is the second best. Arietta should at least be a 97. I say give him a plus one. Have him an increase in both walks per nine and home runs per nine. Only giving up three home runs this year. Definitely should get an upgrade in the home runs per nine. Moving on to the Cincinnati Reds. We're going to go to Dan Straley. I see him getting an increase of one. He's actually pitched a lot of innings this year for them. Give him an increase in stamina. Also give him an increase in... Uh, K's per nine. That'll put him at a silver. Put him at 78 overall. Moving on to the Milwaukee Brewers. Jimmy Nelson. Get a plus two. Put him at an 80 overall. He's the ERA's in the low twos. Actually leads the team in ERA. Give him an increase in both hits per nine and walks per nine. He hasn't given up that many hits or walks compared to what his attribute really are. Moving on to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jung Ho Kang. Everyone loves him. We're giving an upgrade in plus one. He has, I think, six home runs at this time. Given a great in power. That's in limited at-bats. His power is only at 59. Put those in the mid-60s. That will get him around a plus one. The St. Louis Cardinals now. Matt Holliday, he always changes uh, his position to his overall changes. I'm going to be changing his attributes. I'm giving him a plus one based off power. He does have nine home runs this year. Give that a little bit of increase in power into like around 70 and 65 versus right and left, respectfully. That will go up one. Moving on to the Diamondbacks. Another guy getting an upgrade, Gene Segura. A plus one. Increase in contact. He's in, hitting over 300 this year. It's about 306, but give him a little increase in contact. Put him at an 84. A really solid second baseman. Just short of a gold. Now to the Colorado Rockies. A surprise down here. Going all the way down the bottom down here. Mark Reynolds. He only has three home runs this year, but he's hitting over 300. I see him get a big increase in contact finally. A plus five overall. Put him at a 74. Will still be a bronze card, but an upgrade nonetheless. The Dodgers, I cannot make Clayton Kershaw 100. I would if I could. But we're going to go down to the dirtiest player on their team, Chase Utley, Mr. Slide. Uh, we're going to give him a plus two in contact. He's hitting about 280 this year. Uh, he's had a little bit of pop recently, but I don't think that will affect in this week's rating. So I'll say give him an increase in the contact. Put him at a 79 overall. He will then be a silver. Moving on to the San Diego Projects, James Shields. Minus four overrun. Mostly... Because he gave up a home run to Bartolo Colon. If you give up a home run to Bartolo Colon, you cannot be a silver. It's a rule of mine. So he's going to be a bronze. He also does have an ERA in the mid fours. So I think he's going to go down four overall. Put him at a 77. And then finally, the last guy, Johnny Cueto. Give him a plus two. Has three complete games this year. But his stamina is already really high. Maybe you can touch that a little bit. But he's only given up three home runs. Give an upgrade in home runs per nine and hits per nine. Put him at a 91. Two overall short of being a diamond. But that's it for the video, guys. Those are my projections. Again, if you have any other ones you want to put, put them in the comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think. If you think this is a good one and you guys like it, hit the like button. If I see a lot of likes on it, I'll keep coming up with them every single week for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you did. Take it easy. See ya.